What's up, y'all? Watching Keeping Up with the Kelpins. Welcome back, you guys. This video is going to be like a Q&A, um, so you can learn a little bit more about Blake and I and our marriage. Um, and we'll kind of dive right in. Here we go. Like whip jar. So I figure we can alternate. I can pull a question out, you can pull a question out, and then we have to answer them. So, you can go first. Mm. Okay. Why'd you smell this? Just wondering what was in there before. <laughs> Can't tell. It's nice clean. Hmm. All right. First question. First question. What was your senior senior superlative in high school? Did you have one? Yes, I did. What was it? Most likely to be on Oprah. Oh, how's that going for you? Working on it. Not there yet. <laughs> Still working on it. All right. Wait, are we, do we answer our own, or we ask the other person? Oh, well, I guess... Oh, I'll ask you the next one. Okay. What would you... What would you name your son or daughter if you had one? Huh. So, I think for a girl, I'd probably go with Jedediah. No, I'm kidding. Um, probably Sadie or Aria. Boy, probably Cooper or Jackson. What about you? Well, I, I agree. Clearly, we've had this conversation before. But I would say this brings back terrible memories of reading stuff, feeling pressure on me to the time when I <laughs> was playing a game with your dad, and he <laughs> said, told me that I have, uh, what was it? What's the word? He said that you couldn't I read. thought it was dyslexic. Because he was a little nervous in this game with my dad, picking up cards and reading them, and he just stuttered a little bit. You know, stuttered, said words wrong, fun. and then yeah, I pretty, pretty much got told I had dyslexia and I need to go to a doctor. After <laughs> that. So I might struggle with this. <laughs> I'll ask the next next question then. Ugh. Really shake him. Back in there, pretty tight. Yeah. Don't know how much. Not don't much know, jiggling. Don't know how much that did, but we'll see. All right. Ah. Okay. This is for our indie people. Favorite restaurant and meal in Indianapolis? Oh. I'd probably say for me, hands down, um, Ale Emporium, their Hermanaki wings. They are so good. If you ever come to Indy, definitely have them. Um, the alcohol, there's great beer on tap. It's a little expensive, but it's good. Maybe like a nice zombie dust. And then Ale Emporium, Hermanaki wings. Bam. The best habit or hobby you've established during quarantine. Didn't mess up on that one. <laughs> Very eloquently read, Blake. Mm, thank you. Um, are we both answering it? Oh, you go first. Okay. Um, so for me, I've made it a habit of doing my morning mantras. Every morning I have like these mantras written on post-it notes on the wall and I'll say them, internalize them. And then I've been doing um, lunch walks with her dogs. But... Besides that, oh, and I guess you could kind of count this YouTube channel. I've been so terribly bored that I'm just, you know, hanging out with you guys and, and making videos every day. So, mm. yeah. What about you? My best habit has been saving water. <laughs> by not showering. This dude has not showered. He'd showered for this video, but he had not showered for, what, five days? Uh, maybe. No. <laughs> if that. Who's maybe. counting? It the matter is how many gallons of water I say. Yeah, and really, I'm the only one that has to smell them, so... You know, I'm actually fine. very lucky I am not a smelly person. I am. I am a smelly person. So I have to shower every day. Um, I could go a week. Just to be completely frank, put it all out there. Uh, sometimes when I'm a little bit smelly, Blake will call me mm. Mrs... Uh, Miss Pepperback. Miss, Miss Pepperback. That is... Uh, Peppery... I, 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 I might I might edit that out because it's kind of embarrassing, but you know what? Okay. Just smell on the pepper. Make sure you tell her. <laughs> Shower. <laughs> Next question. <sighs> what was your major in college and what do you do now? Um, so my major in college was opera. I was a nerdy music major. And what do I do now? So nothing in terms of music. I'm actually in internal hiring for a company. And so I'll go to different college campuses and recruit um, future recruiters and sales executives for our company. That's what I do. 
education. Education? P.E. I thought you were kinesthesiology. Minors. I just was going after minors because I didn't want to teach. Yep. And then I ended up getting into sales. Yep. So, describe your mother and qualities about her. So, I would say we both, we really, really love our, our moms. Um, That'd be bad if we didn't. <laughs> yeah. I would say my mom is like a strong Italian mother. She's a businesswoman. She did med device sales for like 30 years. Um, she's kind of uptight a little bit. I love her, but she's a little bit uptight sometimes. Um, but I've never met a more caring, loving, intelligent, confident woman in my life. And I hope I can be like half the woman that she is. Um, yeah. My mother is an angel. That's literally how I did ask him that on maybe our first or second date. Like, how do you describe your mom? And he said an angel. And an angel. He actually is right. She, she might be an angel. Very healthy, very driven, very perfectionist, mm -hmm. very organized, tidy. Read. My turn. Is this mm -hmm, it? Mm -hmm. Okay. What? You, did you read this one before? No. This is a hard one. What do you think we need to work the most on in our relationship? Mm. Why do you keep smelling this? Mm. That's a tough one. I would say probably... I think I know the answer. I would say like consistency and communication. Consistency, I would say, is both of our weak points. Like I might say I want to go to the gym, lose weight, but then I'll say it and not do it. Um, so saying what we're doing, what we we're what, doing, what we say, that's what I meant to say. Um, and then communication. I think that's every relationship's tough points. Sometimes in my head, I think that he knows what I mean or what I'm thinking or how I'm feeling. And I've learned that I have to go that extra step and like actually communicate. Explain it to me like I'm a five year old. Really? Yeah. Really break it down for him. So yeah. I would say that's one. I like to think I'm a great communicator. It's not bad. What would but you I say? I might not be. But that's probably part of my problem. Um, I w well, I would say maybe for me, I know, I mean, she's perfect, so Shut nothing up. there. For me, I could probably cut back on my video gaming. It's my outlet. It's my release. I kind of get into that little kid, like, video game vortex, you know, where it's like, I don't know how long I've been on, how long I've been playing. And then, uh, you know, so I could probably, maybe I, should, I could just grow up a little bit. Maybe that's what I could work on. Uh, it's all about balance, right? Yeah, yeah. Maybe play video games for one hour instead of five. Well, let's not go that far. Yeah. Right? Maybe I do a couple hours here. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's see. How do you do? Just kidding. How, do not... <laughs> <laughs> how, uh, did, you, how did you meet? How did we meet? Yes. Okay. Uh, Slid in a DMs. Kind of. Yeah, <laughs> so... Uh, I guess he liked one of my pictures on Instagram, which I guess he was really drawn towards my tagline, um, which was, uh, are you a beaver? Cause damn. She was also wearing a, her picture was a picture of her wearing a, like scrubbing, like doctor cap. It was a shower cap. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but anyway, he liked my picture. I said, who is this guy? Added him on Facebook, saw that we had some mutual friends, and then he messaged me and he asked me, um, what are my hobbies? And at that point, I was... I'm sure I said something to bleed into that. Yeah, it, it wasn't like your first question. But, hey, what are your hobbies? But uh, from that point, I, mean, I was like, really loving the single life. And this was just another question. So I thought I'm going to be as weird as possible and answer super strange and see what he says. So um, my response was my hobbies were soap carving and live action role play, LARPing, which neither of them are. But um, he, I think he responded that uh, don't make fun of soap carving because I make my own soap, which I thought I was kind of weird. Um, we should probably... Do a video on that to show you how he makes his soap. But He's probably use it more often in shower. More often. <laughs> the irony, um, but yeah, that's how we met. I, I turned him down three different times. Twice. And twice. And if it would have been the third, I said I'm done with this woman. Yeah, yeah. But then I went on the date, and uh, the rest is history. Here we are. Mm, best decision you ever made. Best decision I ever made. Debatable. 
Um, all right. Two more, or one more. Ooh, what is your ideal date? You go. Well. Sleeping till noon and playing video games. I don't know. She'd probably be like six foot, uh, you know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, ideal date. <laughs> <laughs> I would say very chillax, good environment. Preferably Hawaii. I don't know if that counts as a date, but, uh, you know, someplace where it's good weather. A little grilling, maybe. Something chillax, like watching a good movie. Maybe getting a little exercise, not too much. Maybe a little <laughs> walk action with the dogs. This is kind of Hawaii. Grilling some wings in Hawaii and walking on the beach. Okay. Super attainable. With my wife. <laughs> right. Not the six foot hottie. Yeah. I mean, the I pink think. Power Ranger, which is, I, I was spying on him and his friend Seth playing video games last night, and he uh, he said that the pink Power Ranger still did it for Bang us. Bang it. So. Everybody had a crush on the pink Power Ranger, so let's be real. She was banging, still is banging, and will always be banging. Okay. Kimberly, <laughs> if you're watching, what was the question you just asked? Oh, when did you know you wanted to marry me? The moment I saw you, one. Aww. Two, probably when we um, had tough times and we got through the tough times and turned out better on the other side. And when you, you know, put up with my crap. Remember that one time when I yelled at you completely naked? That was scary. <laughs> it was. It, yeah. It was weird. I got really angry. But yeah, we couldn't take it seriously. It. That's the that's the biggest thing. Just screaming. <laughs> uh, what about you? Can't um, say I've ever yelled at you naked before. No, no. Um, I would say I knew I wanted to marry you um, because we did go through some some rough times. I my dad got diagnosed with cancer. He got sick, and Blake was there to to truly kind of like help guide me through it. He let me lean on him for it. And um, the great thing about Blake is like he he might screw up the first time he does a couple things. Probably. It, it might take him a while to learn, but once he does, um, he never he never really goes back to his old ways, I would say. He always does improve. And so for me, that was something where I knew I wanted to marry someone who constantly improved and, and grew to be a better person. So I would say when I saw that happening very early on, that was kind of that reassuring thing like, oh, yeah, I, I do want to spend the rest of my life with him. He's got potential. He's got potential. All right, next question. Back to there. <laughs> Tell us a fun fact about the other person. So, oh. my fun fact about Blake is he is actually an excellent um, carpenter. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but, like, he's built our doghouse. He literally built it from the ground up. It's humongous. It's made out of wood. It's like a big, huge dog crate. Um, the very first week we moved into our house, he broke the toilet, which was unfortunate, but he, like, went out. Dropped the top part. Shattered. Um, but he yeah. got a brand new one that week. He installed it all on his own. He's just a very handy person. It's nice to have kind of a man around the house that can do that kind of stuff. Was it fun fact? What was it? Fun fact about the other person. Yeah. Fun fact. Mara is becoming quite the cook. Oh, well, thank you. I could not say that when we first started dating. <laughs> it was scary, but... I will say, she's gotten, I now look forward to when she's making dinner. Or maybe. Next question. Next question. Roll with it. Yeah. Roll. Keeping it rolling. What would be on your perfect slice of pizza? I'll let you roll with this one because pizza is his all time mm. favorite meal. My friends call me Pizza Body because <laughs> my love of pizza and my bad body. <laughs> So mine's simple, hot sauce, cheese. But what about, oh God, the dogs. They want the piece, they want a piece of it. Ollie. Throw on some pepper, a little crushed pepper, little seasonings, you know, a little something, something, uh, whatever I can whip up uh, and 
basically I just know how to cook good frozen pizza to perfection. Honestly. Probably I would pick my own pizza over going out and getting pizza. I would too. Like his frozen pizza is cooked to perfection. Domino's is pretty good. I like Last one. What do you think is the best quality that you have, Blake? Hmm. What's your best quality? Best quality, I would say problem solving and thinking logically. Not one of my strong points. No. <laughs> but I'd say my best qualities is I'm very loving and caring. Um, Hi, emotional. You, your strengths and my weaknesses. They do balance each other out. Hi, emotional intelligence. Very low emotional intelligence. Yeah. Logical. Maybe not so much. Creative. Yeah. Creative. Oh, yeah. Doing videos like this. I would say, yeah, that and I feel like I do have a pretty good heart. I try to take care of, I go for the underdog always. Like I feel like the people that don't have a voice, I feel like I try to um, lift them up and make them feel like they have a place. Bye. I'm a great dog mom. I'm a great good dog mom, yeah. But, all right, before we wrap it up, is there anything that you want to document or let the audience know about you, us, marriage, anything? Pink Ranger, if you're out there. Stop. We're still thinking of you. We're done. <laughs>